It's wonderful to see you here in Washington. Yeah, um, this is a big event, obviously. You know, the first event before President Mirziyoyev arrives. Uh, the last time um, Uzbek president visited Washington was in 2002, and that was a different political context, a different era. So this visit, upcoming visit, is seen as a historic <coughs> event. That's what we're hearing from the U.S. officials. That's what we're hearing from the Uzbek officials. Why is that? And how different is this mission for Uzbekistan than before? First of all, because the world is different. And even more important, today Uzbekistan is different from what it was in 2002. It's absolutely new Uzbekistan with new conception and philosophy of development and Uzbekistan with a renewed both domestic and foreign policy. We've seen today uh, the changing image of Uzbekistan due to the democratic processes going on the process in the, in, in the country and it's appreciated here in Washington. Today we have a meeting in the National Press Club dedicated to the human rights and uh, democratization and never before I've seen such a uh, gathering when the people highly appreciated the endeavors of uh, President of Uzbekistan, Uzbek government to make genuine reforms and guarantee human rights and freedom. Secondly, the role of Uzbekistan inside the region, including Afghanistan, completely changed. Which today, I think it's not an exaggeration to say that due to the new foreign policy of Uzbekistan, open, ready to dialogue, ready to compromise, we have more trust, more cooperation in Central Asia, a new political atmosphere, which makes possible address the most sensitive issues of the region. Let's remember that a month ago, Uzbekistan hosted the very important international conference dedicated to Afghanistan, and it was, as it was uh, um, admitted by many uh, uh, analytics, it was a very important step to consolidate the efforts of international community to bring peace to this country. And that's why uh, we expect uh, on the incoming Uzbek-American summit, upgrading the level of our partnership. Will, will they sign? Will President sign a strategic partnership agreement? Should we expect something like there that? There will be joint statement, which has a very, to my mind, interesting title. Which uh, it's enough to uh, just to quote this uh, the title of this joint statement: Uzbekistan, United States, beginning of new strategic partnership. I think it's uh, uh, there is no need to comment further. And second, uh, there, is, there will be uh, the changes in Uzbekistan, creation of new uh, investment client in Uzbekistan, uh, created new level of interest from American business in doing business in Uzbekistan. And we uh, anticipate multi-billion contracts to be signed on the eve of this uh, visit. And moreover, uh, during the visit, one of the most important deliverables, as we say, from this um, visit will be signing of intergovernmental documents with the Ministry, uh, Department of Agriculture, Department of Energy, OPIC, which is very important for bringing private investments from United States to Uzbekistan, Exim Bank, etc., etc. So I think that uh, after this visit we will have absolutely new legal and institutional framework to broaden our cooperation, which is uh, very important for uh, the Uzbekistan and for the United States as well. So we have heard that the agreements will be worth uh, $4 billion. More. Is that more? It's going to be more. more. So that's I, like I'm not now reveal the figure <laughs> because let's keep finger the fingers crossed. crossed. And after the uh, when they will be signed, I will be pleased to be first to inform you and your audience. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.